oldest son <clears throat> was in high school, got into some altercations that were racially charged, met with the counselor. We uh, had some discussion that uh, though he uh, had not started things, he had uh, participated in the fight and was being suspected, and it was fair. So I said, okay, let's take him home. About 2.30, 3 o'clock, I get a knock on the door, and it was the pastor. And I said, what are you doing here? And uh, he said, I'm here to check on Joe. Uh, how do you know about Joe? <laughs> um, turns out that uh, when, uh, when my son uh, was uh, in this fight in the, and was outnumbered, he took off. And when he took off, he came to our shepherd. The significance of that was he could have gone to a lot of other places. There were friends' houses that were closer by. There were, uh, he could have got to McDonald's. He could have come home. But he chose to go to our shepherd. And when he got there, he met the pastor. And uh, the pastor provided him with what I say to be good counsel. So I tell that story uh, to folks when they, when they ask, what does our shepherd mean to me? It's because a couple of things. One is that um, it, it, has, um, it has built this sense of community this sense of safety that when a young man is faced in a fight or flight uh, predicament, the place he goes to is our shepherd. And then when I thought about the pastor waiting for him um, to, uh, to, to walk him home, make sure he was okay, I thought of the 23rd Psalm. Yea, though I walk through the valley of darkness, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. And at that point at my son's life, at that time, the pastor was God's rod and staff for him. And so that's what our shepherd does for me as well. It takes the gospel, it takes the Bible, gives it meaning and pertinence to my life so that it makes sense for me today. It's not just a historical document. So it makes a difference. <laughs> <laughs>